Hello, uh, the problem we have here tells us to approximate the value of the integral of x sine of x dx from 0 to 3 using the first four non-zero terms of the Taylor series. And then we also want to calculate the absolute relative true error. Okay, so the first step is to expand the Taylor series of sine of x, which is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5th over 5 factorial minus x to the 7th, 7 factorial plus x to the 9th over 9 factorial, and so on. And we needed to do that first before we could actually write this as x sine of x. So they tell us to use the first four non-zero terms. So we count one, two, three, four. And anything after that, we can leave out. So now that we have sine of x, we can find x sine of x by multiplying the expanded Taylor series, multiplying each term by x. So then we'll get x sine of x equals x squared minus x to the fourth over 3 factorial plus x to the sixth over 5 factorial minus x to the eighth over 7 factorial. All right, and let's uh, simplify the factorials in the denominators. So x sine of x equals x squared minus x to the fourth over 6 plus x to the sixth over 120 minus x to the eighth over 5,040. Okay, and now if we want to take the integral of this from 0 to 3, we can do that. So just raise the x power by 1 and then divide the term by the new power. Okay, and we want to evaluate this from 0 to 3. So to do that, you just plug in 3 for all the x terms, and then subtract that whole quantity by 0 plugged into all of these terms, which will just be 0. So when we plug in 3, we get 27.3 minus 243 over 30 plus 2,187 over 840 minus 90,683 over 45,360. All of this minus zero is 3.0. Six nine six, and this is our approximation with the first four non-zero terms of the Taylor series. And let's not forget that we also want to calculate the absolute relative true error, which can be written like this. So what is that equal to? The absolute relative true error is equal to our actual value minus our approximated value 
divided by our actual value. The absolute value of all of that times 100%. Okay, so our actual value, you can uh, get that from using a calculator, and that is 3.111. And our approximated value is the value that we just calculated, 3.0696 over our actual value, absolute value of all of this, times 100%. And I get 1.33% as our absolute relative true error. All right, well, thanks for watching.